Hey everybody, I thought I'd finally make a video about the Salvation Army, about one of their core doctrines. Now, as a lot of you know, I used to go to a Salvation Army church many years ago. I went there for quite a few years. Um, I eventually ended up moving because of work and then I started going to a Baptist church. I really got into the King James Bible and it really unraveled a lot of heresies that um, I had been taught in the Salvation Army. Now, one of the biggest heresies I'm going to show you. This is one of their core doctrines. So watch this clip from my Salvation Army video. We believe that continuance in a state of salvation depends upon continued obedient faith in Christ. A changed life for Christ doesn't mean that um, we become irresponsible with the decisions we make each day. Um, when we choose to live for Christ, we are choosing to live a different life set apart for Him. To me, that's just a good relationship. You know, we wouldn't have a relationship with someone if one of the parties didn't want it. And God basically says, hey, you know, I'm yours as long as you want me. And I think it's a great thing. We don't have to worry about Him leaving the relationship. But uh, if somebody wants to leave the relationship, God gives us the freedom to do that. He doesn't want to keep us captive or hold us hostage. Once you're born again, God is your Father. That's it. There's no verse, any one scripture, that says you can be unborn. Just as you're born uh, to your physical parents and they are your parents, you can't change that, no matter how much some people may want to. Once you're born again spiritually, God is your Father. That's the end of it. Uh, this doctrine talks about continuance. Um, some people believe that you can get saved and then live as you want because, because that's what it's all about. But within the Salvation Army, we believe that we need to continue to live a life of faith, a life of obedience. Notice how she says, oh, but within the Salvation Army, instead of going to what the scripture has to say, I'm going to read to you from Romans 4 uh, verse 5. And I'm sure virtually everyone watching this video has heard this verse before, but I'm going to read it anyway. All scripture is good. But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. Now, I'm not saying a Christian should go out and live however they want to after they get saved. They should try and live an upright, moral life pleasing to God, but not for salvation. There's never really a time where I think you can say you've made it because um, we're all walking along, we're all at different places in our lives and we're all learning different things. Um, but walking with the Lord is indeed a journey and um, we experience new and great things with Him every day. Our uh, continuance in a state of salvation. Uh, for some members of the body of Christ, uh, once you sort of say the magic words, that is you trust Jesus and, and He forgives you of your sin, uh, they conclude that this is a done deal and uh, what Christ did for you once by forgiving your sins is good forever. So uh, while you might have been a bad person before, he forgave you of your sins, but it really, uh, while it matters how you live moving forward, they say that God's grace at that moment in time is sufficient to cover your future acts. Uh, further, they go on to suggest that uh, no man can live God, uh, no man can please God by their actions. So. Uh, you know, even if you attempted to be good, that uh, it, you really can't be good. So you're just gonna you're just gonna need to rely upon the grace the moment you accepted him as your savior. This man clearly doesn't understand it is a done deal. I'm just going to read to you some verses from Hebrews chapter 10, starting verse 12. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down at the right hand of God. From henceforth expecting till his enemies be made his footstool. For by one offering he hath perfected forever them that are sanctified. That's us. That's who have believed. Clearly says that Christ's sacrifice has saved us forever. But this man doesn't believe that. The Salvation Army doesn't believe that. And it's so sad. You've got all these people who are so dedicated to this religious organization and the teaching heresy. This is not the gospel. The gospel is Jesus Christ died for our sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day. Believe that and you are saved forever. I hope this has um, opened up your eyes to what the Salvation Army teach. Maybe not every single Salvation Army church upholds all of these um, statements of faith that they have. 
but this is certainly one of the worst um, doctrines that they have. Anyway, God bless all of you out there. Keep defending the faith. God bless.